Hi, we're here to demonstrate the operation of the water presence detection module as a part of the uh, House Evolve system. Uh, the water presence detection module is this box right here and uh, it can support up to six water presence detection sensors such as these. We have one connected right now to it as well as the operation of two water shutoff valves. Again, we have only one connected to it right now. It's a one inch inside diameter stainless steel water shutoff valve. For this uh, demonstration, we've uh, connected it to a garden hose and that's why it's, it's dripping over there. Um, ordinarily, this water presence detection, this water shutoff valve would be connected in line with your water intake pipe uh, so that you could uh, turn of water on and off either in a localized area or throughout the whole house. Like I said, each water presence detection module supports up to six water sensors and the operation of up to two water shutoff valves. What we're going to show today in our demonstration is, uh, first of all, how the water shutoff works. We're going we're to turn the water on and off over the phone. And then we're going to see what happens um, in conjunction with the uh, water presence sensor getting wet. The idea is that the house evolve system is going to try to protect the, the environment being monitored by automatically turning off the water um, shutoff valves connected to it if any of the sensors connected to the box become wet. Uh, the system will also call you automatically to report the problem. And once you know that the problem exists, if you choose to turn the water back on from the phone, you have the ability to do so. Uh, but the idea is that we're providing an automated way to deal with water intrusion on your property. So without further ado, uh, let's see how um, easy it is to control the water flow in your house over the phone. I'm going to call the um, House Evolve system right now uh, from my cell phone. And I don't know if you can hear the phone actually ringing in the house, but um, that's what the uh, house wall system is connected to. Um, it will answer in a couple of rings. It will report, it, uh, it will go through its reporting procedure. In this case, there's really nothing wrong. There's nothing to report, so the report will be blank. You'll hear house evolve report and report. At the end of that, we'll be able to go into the main menu and uh, play with it. The HVAC status is unavailable because we don't have a thermostat connected to it. There's nothing to acknowledge right now. I'm going to press 1 for main menu. Go to valve settings. And that's it. I'm actually going to shut it off over the phone too. And that's it. Um, and we can just continue doing this for as long as we want. When we're done playing with it, we just hang up. And uh, that's, that's as easy as it is to control water flow in your house with the House Evolve system. Um, the, for the next part of the demonstration, I'm actually going to allow the water sensor to get wet. And for that, I'm going to turn the water on, let it run for a little bit, and then let the sensor get wet. Once the sensor gets wet, water gets shut off automatically, and the system will call me oh, on my phone, if it still works. And <laughs> we'll, um, uh, we'll, we'll hear a report about it, and then we'll have the opportunity to turn the water back on. So I'm going to go to the box. I can open or close the water um, shutoff valves from here. I'm going to open the valve and uh, I'm going to let the sensor get wet. When the sensor gets wet, the water presence detector will start beeping uh, to attract my attention if I'm at home locally uh, and at the same time call the, call the phone. That's it. Water sensor got wet. I mean, I can leave it in the water if you like. 
Um, I'm actually going to just shut off this beeper, but nothing else. And uh, the system will call my cell phone to inform me that water was detected. Hello? And that's it. Um, I acknowledged the report so that the system wouldn't call me again. After acknowledging the report, I could have gone back into the main menu. And if I wanted to, I could have turned the water back on or anything I wanted to do with it. If um, we can get a close up of this water presence detector, uh, the report included the water presence detector module as well as the sensor uh, that had a problem. And uh, the um, uh, water sensor that we're using right now is actually connected to the third slot, so it's at sensor three. If additional sensors become wet, uh, the housing wall system will call you for each sensor that actually gets wet in progression so that you have an idea of um, how the water um, access is, water intrusion is progressing and at what rate. Uh, and it will attempt to shut the water off every time a new sensor gets wet. So the idea is that it'll, it'll repeat the functionality. Um, it went through one sensor for all, all the way up to six of them. Um, that's about it. Thank you.